Oh, uh, look at this in front. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. We are attempting a new world record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. Click the subscribe button to follow our adventure around the world. See you later! Good morning world, it's day number 23! We had a really really bad night actually, it was raining the whole night like crazy. So this morning we packed up everything quite quickly, just when we had this dry, um, dry window and it's still actually not raining which is really cool that's good and we wanted to show you quick where we where we camped because the mountains here are just awesome the mountains of spain <laughs> Whee! very pretty it was really peaceful really quiet we couldn't hear any like cars or trucks or a road next to us like it was really really nice even more cool is that we had a fox yesterday night visiting us. He's right behind the tent. Can I see? Hello. Amazing. He probably wants something to eat, hey? And of course we fed him a little bit. He doesn't look like he's too bothered about us at all. No. Whoa! He's, like, he's really chilled. Whoa! Oh, hello. hello! 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 But seriously, he was so cute. He was like the cutest little creature in the world. I never saw a fox so close up, just not next to me. Like it was incredible. So let me show you where we're gonna head today. So when we made our way from France to Spain, we made our way down through here and stayed the night here, just north of Leida. And now we are moving on and we are heading directly east to here. So the area that we're heading today is called Las Bardenas Reales. Uh, it's about 175 miles away and uh, I'll tell you more about it on the way. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Whee. <laughs> weather over on this side where the Pyrenees are where the mountains all are looks really really ominous it's been threatening to rain for the whole day so far but uh, so far we just have a few little drops coming on on the front of the helmet so it hasn't hit us just yet but yeah it was a little bit depressing me this morning because 
we arrived in Spain it was so beautiful and sunny and then today we wake up to this yeah I'm just hoping it's not gonna rain like crazy yeah but so far I'm really impressed with the um, with the landscapes here in Spain it looks spectacular it is unbelievable isn't it all the little hills and we drove already through a canyon and everything looks so rocky and scrubby uh, green yeah. and, and wild yeah it's yes. like the wild west of Europe yes exactly it feels like that we have uh, loads of opportunities to wa for wild camping here around everywhere really I don't think we'll have a problem with wild camping oh no it is uh, starting to come on my helmet now yes <laughs> anyway we, we are prepared we put already our rain rain covers on our rain clothes <laughs> yeah I just need to put my rain gloves on mm -hmm. but uh, yeah everything else is already waterproofed up so um, if it happens we're ready for it yeah we're ready for you rain <laughs> too many flies 80 miles down 100 miles to go it's too far <laughs> <laughs> This is our first Peage Toll in Spain. Yeah. So we've got to see what we have to do. What do we have to do? Oh, you could just use a card, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, you have to get my card out here then. Ah, okay. Hold on. Which uh, which of our many pockets is it in? I think it's this one or on the other side. Oh, not <laughs> that side. one's full of crepes. <laughs> <laughs> do you think they take crap <laughs> as payment? <laughs> Aha. There you go. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's um two euro forty five. Yep, barriers up. All right. All right. We just blasted our way down the highway for a little bit, and uh, now we're on a smaller road, and we're going to make our way towards Las Bardenas Reales. We've put the Garmin now on maximum adventure routing for the rest of this uh, journey. And it's nice, it's really refreshing. I can see already a nice river next to us. Yeah, so that's that's the River Ebro, the Rio Ebro. I think uh, the Rio Ebro is a pretty big river in Spain. Although I'm not sure if it's the biggest river or the longest river, but I think it's up there. I just turned around to show you guys this field full of storks nice wow they are massive birds wow when you see them up close they're really like impressive they are super super beautiful yeah and big look 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 there he's turning around big Woo! big birds yes yeah oh i thought it was worth to turn around and show you that because uh that's really impressive there's a lot of storks in this area we've seen them flying around this area i think they in this river ebro valley here i think there's a whole lot of them so that's really cool to see don't see that every day <laughs> park natural bardenas reales <laughs> okay going down here yeah and you can see in the background all of these deserty mountains coming up well this behind is the Parque Natural Bardenas Reales which I think means the real badlands the real badlands this looks like the entrance Reserva de la Biosfera this natural park is actually a UNESCO recognized biosphere reserve so I'm not entirely sure what that means but I think that means that it has a very unique set of wildlife here set of flora and fauna Hola. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> ah that's why it's called the badlands <laughs> ah look in front now wow you just come up over the hill and then suddenly you're like 
Wow, that's pretty crazy. It's really like the Wild West landscape. <laughs> it's like almost like a mini Monument Valley. Yes. Look at this in front. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Okay, we have to stop here. <laughs> nice. Look at that. In the European desert. Yeah, look at this. So I think there's a sort of loop that goes sort of in and around these hills so we're just going to take these little dirt roads around and see where we end up and just look at all the pretty rock formations so there was an information board back there that we read but it was only in french and in spanish so from what we could gather uh, this whole valley was uh, created by erosion with the river Ebro at the center of all the erosion. Yeah, I mean, you can basically see that uh, the land was all up there and now it's eroding down until it's down here. <laughs> it's a very cool wonder of geography. Look at that vista! Wow! Huh? Yeah, beautiful! I mean, you wouldn't expect really that you would see this kind of landscape in Europe. No, not like this. It's super cool. That looks nice. Oh, look at this area. Wow. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, this is like a otherworldly landscape. <laughs> look at that. Wow. Cool. This is really the badlands of the Wild West.
so we had a little look online and uh, and looking behind us there's a large military base or some sort of military presence here in the natural park and it says online you know no camping anywhere in the area military zone blah 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 so I think we're gonna play it safe and I think we're gonna leave the park and then try and find a camping spot yeah we don't really want to risk a fine yeah fine. I don't know if rangers are driving around here and uh, asking people to leave or whatever we don't really know so yeah just to be safe we will check out a place 30 k's from here yeah and yeah see how that goes if we can pitch up our tent there yeah but still like super nice views to enjoy it's a remarkable place yeah yeah it's super nice to drive around here this is yes. like motorbike heaven right now yeah it's so sad that you can't just pitch up a tent anywhere here i mean you probably could and you could probably, hide yeah. away i mean i don't think anybody would say anything uh if you went off to the side or something but yeah yeah hold on oh the fox the fox the fox the fox you know what we were saying this morning that we saw a fox in the campsite but look there's another one hello hello little guy wow oh my god <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Fox. Goodbye, Mr. Foxy. Okay. Cal Castillo. Let's go. Okay, we've turned off heading for this town, Castellano. I think that's what it's called. But the gravel and the dirt is a little bit deeper here. So it's a little bit more of an off-road practice, this one, where you've got some more deeper bits and I can feel the weight of the bike moving around underneath oh yeah when you look ahead you can see the, the dark dark sky oh Ooh. no ah is the rain coming soon hey looks like it yeah we got to get out of this uh, national park hey yeah so we just did the loop which was 20 k's around this awesome area here and now we are heading out which is as well like 30 k's so you can see like how uh, big this area here is yeah yeah we've pretty much explored every corner of this place oh no it looks really wet up ahead oh well let's just find our way back to the tarmac shall we oh yes the rain is coming down yeah, I think we're going to hit it bad now. And we still have, I think, 10 miles on this dirt road before we hit the tarmac again. So let's just hope it doesn't get too muddy. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was a bit of a strange, uh, strange one. Did you, did you feel the bike? Wow, 210 miles so far on the GPS. Was some some kind of day, hey? So it looks like we've left the national park, and the road condition just got suddenly very, very full of potholes, and is very terrible. And it's raining, but the tarmac is ahead. Woo! Yeah! There we go. There you go, Car Castillo, five kilometers. That's where we're gonna try and find our nice place to camp. Now we're just heading to this monastery where we read on iOverlander that many people stayed overnight there with no problems. This one here, Monasterio de la Oliva. So we're gonna go check out the parking area for this monastery and see if it looks all right to camp.
Oh look, there's some people here. Okay, we're gonna go and ask and see if it's alright to uh, camp here. <laughs> okay, so we just asked the ladies that were hanging out over there by the front of the monastery and they showed us around and we used like Google Translate and we asked them, oh, is it okay if we pitch our tent just here in the monastery gardens, just in front of the car park? And they said, oh, sin problemo, sin problemo, it's okay, you know? Uh, they said that a lot of people are uh, coming here, staying the night over here um, next to the monastery. So that is awesome. We found our camp for the night. Um, Lavi's just a whiz with the tent. Look at that. <laughs> She's just getting the tent done straight away. My German efficiency. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We had a little break in the rain as well, just as we arrived here at this monastery. You see the mountains, this is where we came from before. And uh, the monastery is just over there. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a super beautiful little place to camp. So that is us for the night. So in the end, it was a pretty full on day. Uh, you know, after the first like 150 miles getting to the park and then doing like two loops around <laughs> the whole place, uh, we did 219 miles in total today, which is way over our longest way day. Way over everything we have ever done. Full on, but a beautiful <laughs> end to the day anyway. Yes, very beautiful end. And yeah, we are ready for bed, hey? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I woke up, I was super tired this morning, a little bit depressed from the weather. Yeah, so... It's time to get a good rest of night and we hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, then please thumbs up, subscribing, commenting, all of these things below. We will see you next time.